I would like to introduce another great guest, guest of my. I cannot speak today. <laughs> my goodness. Um, Jeff. Jay. Jay, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for coming. I'm thank, so sorry. I apologize. Again. I'm just not having a day today. <laughs> got to get rid of that energy. You shake that, it the out. negative. You shake, it shake it off. It I know. <laughs> I know. So, tell me what 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 is Meatheads? Yeah. So Meathead Movers, Deanna, we're a, a moving company. We were founded on the Central Coast in San Luis Obispo in 1997. Uh, so we've been doing it for a while. We very recently opened our uh, our newest branch office here oh. in beautiful Fresno. Beautiful, and uh, and we're putting you, we're putting your local student athletes, uh, you know, to good use. Uh, they're hard at work, uh, you know, moving the local residents in and out and all about in in Fresno. All the 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 football players, football. and the we, baseball players, <laughs> all all of them. We don't we don't discriminate by by. <laughs> By team, we'll uh, we'll take them all as long as as long as they're willing as to come out and work hard for help. us and uh, and and represent the company well. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, my son just bought a brand new home. Well, not brand new home, but he bought his very first home. You know, and he gets his keys tomorrow, and so. I just may have to call you guys in. Do you yeah. guys go to Visalia? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll we will service the entire Central Valley from from this office. We're also able to do. Uh, mo moves locally all the way down the coastline. We have offices in Camarillo, in uh, wow. in Santa Ana, in Orange County, uh, and we're also able to to service interstate moves as well. Really, we can we can move you anywhere within you know within the United States. Uh, you know, we can absolutely help you out. Wow, that's wonderful. That that's great to know. And so, what? How long an advance do they have to give you? You know. Typically, I always advise that, that you begin your move planning at, at least about a month in advance. Uh, what that's going to do is give you time to, to call in or submit uh, submit for a quote online. Okay. Uh, what we can then do is reach out to you, you know, figure out the best way to go about helping you prepare for your move. You know, is it to conduct an estimate over the phone? You know, is it to interact via email? Is it to set up, you know, a free in-person estimate, you know, okay. in which case... Uh, a person you know like myself or or another one of our our well trained move coordinators will come out meet with you at your home get a, a very accurate and clear idea of what it's going to take to do the job right okay. uh, and uh, and let you know kind of what's involved on our end what you know what to expect in terms of price okay. um, and uh, and what move day will look like awesome awesome and um so there's like there's Two, three of you guys that come and do this, right? Or you know, it, depending it really, on how big of the home it, is. Exactly, it really varies. You know, based upon the scope of work, Deanna. Uh, you know, we we do absolutely have the smallest of services where we'll send out you know just two young men to to go ahead and load okay. you know a, a small U-Haul truck or okay. or help move a few items on site. Okay. You know, a lot of customers use us for for that. We also have you know large moves that require. You know, upwards of upwards of a dozen guys on on right. a single day. You know, it really depends on what's best for the customer. That's why you know that's why we have our move coordinators to go out, make sure that we're tailoring our service to the particular needs of of the client. And there's no bad experiences or or unmet expectations on move day. Awesome, and that's good to know. So if you are planning on moving, you know, you just bought a home, or you're moving, or even if it's a business. You know, uh, it's good to know that they're not just going to only send two guys <laughs> and you have, you know, a 4,000 square foot home to move because right. uh, that, man, that would take you forever. That's yeah, that's but. exactly right. Uh, we're, we're big on safety as well. We don't put our guys into, you know, into situations that are really kind of setting them up for failure. Um, you know, one one reason that we've been able to to grow you know in the manner that we have is that we take great care of of the the young men and women that come in great. to work for us uh you know moving is is physically intensive it's a tough job it requires you know a lot in in you know the the way of manual labor um we take a ton of pride in the training that we provide to to all of our guys you know prior to sending them out on move day they know how to to properly you know, lift the items, how to properly move, you know, your sofa through a doorway, uh, how to use teamwork. Um, and, uh, and we also provide kind of life training as well. Good. You know, how do you take care of your body? Right. What are, you know, what are, 
uh, you know, good good sources of nutrition. Right. Um, you know, massages will will provide. Yeah, you know, I like we, massages. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we there, there. You go. Right. It's a little perk. Little perk of the job. Yeah. Um, you know, we we definitely appreciate you know the guys that come through come through our doors. Uh, we ask a lot of them. You know, they work very hard for us, and and we in return we we definitely. Uh, you know, we definitely show that appreciation for, for what they do and what they've been to the company throughout our 18 years. Right, right. And that was one of my questions I was going to ask. You guys required to join in a gym so you guys could, you know, keep up those muscles. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. Good, good question. You know, being, uh, being that we recruit student athletes, really, it's, it's like the perfect recruiting pool for right. a mover. You right. know, these guys are inherently physically capable of doing the job they they typically come to us kind of pre pre-trained well, you know in terms right? yeah in terms of of being able to to you know comply with the physical needs of the job but we absolutely do have uh you know have a lot of you know a lot of perks that enable them to to stay in shape we've got an on-site uh gym at uh, at each of our branch offices oh, you know we have homework stations where guys can complete their training but but also come in to use you know the computers, printers, things like that that we have to to you know keep up with their studies. Um, you know, really, we we're in the business of of building leaders. You know, the typical the typical meathead stays with us for only about three years mm -hmm. before you know we kind of uh, release them off to to pursue their own you know pursue their own goals outside right. of outside of school. Wonderful. So where did meathead come from? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you asked. It's, it's an all too common question. We're happy, happy to educate. Uh, you know, the term came, the, the owners of the company, uh, it was started by a couple of brothers and is still owned, you know, completely by them. Um, they started the business actually when they were in high school, you know, so oh, definitely okay. young men. They started it out of a need to, you know, to pay the bills, to pay rent, to, you know, buy a car, which, which they didn't have, you right. know, that's the, the, the sort of thing that, that most young people go through. Um, you know, they needed something that, that was flexible to their schedule of classes, their schedule of practice, you know, workout schedules. Um, they were called meatheads because when you couldn't find them, you know, on the practice field or in the gym, getting ready for the next big game, uh, you know, or in school studying, they were out moving furniture, and uh, and you know you must you must must have <laughs> must have to be some sort of meathead to, to spend your time like that. It's it's uh, yeah, it sticks it's it sticks with you, but uh, but it's it's a term that we've definitely embraced and and are proud to proud to own. Well, I that that's awesome. That <laughs> that is awesome. So if you guys are looking forward or looking to move or whatever, please get a hold. Of the meatheads, and yeah. they would, <laughs> they would love to come and help you guys out. Well, thank you so much for thank being you, on yeah. my show. <laughs> <Got it. laughs>